In 2008, Sons of Anarchy rocked the FX channel for the first time. The biker-centric drama series had all the hard-hitting, tough-nosed grit of a crime series. More than three years after the show's final episode, fans are still obsessed with the stars of the show. However, in Hollywood, there is no safe future. Any one incident can make or break a career. Today, we're looking into some of the characters of the hit show who became A-listers, and some not so much. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for more notifications. Flopped, Nico Nicotera, Rat Boy Skogstrom. Nico Nicotero was a late addition to Sons of Anarchy when he joined the show in its fourth season as prospect Rat Boy Skogstrom. Nicotera basked in fame for his intense performance in the show. However, his post-SOA career has not quite picked up the pace, achieving minor roles in movies and TV shows here and there. A-lister, Titus Welliver, Jimmy O'Feelan. Titus Welliver played the true IRA gunrunner Jimmy O'Feelan in the third season of the show. The show's third season is regarded as a rare misstep for the great show. However, Titus was critically acclaimed for his performance. Before SOA, Titus was known for his minor roles in movies and TV shows. Now, Titus has been able to make a transition to leading man in the hit show, Bosch. Flopped, Johnny Lewis, Half Sack Epps. Johnny Lewis depicted the role of Half Sack Epps in the first two seasons of the show. The character didn't have much screen time and was a forgettable character to say the least. In real life, Johnny had various run-ins with the law before he tragically passed away on September 26, 2012. But let's not speak ill of the dead. A-lister, Maggie Siff, Tara No Less. Before playing the role of Dr. Tara No Less in the show, Maggie Siff had already made a name for herself with her memorable role in Mad Men. Maggie portrayed Jack's love interest, Dr. Tara No Less in Sons of Anarchy, and gathered excellent fan appreciation for the character. Since Tara's gruesome demise in the show, Siff has become an A-list TV star with a role in the critically acclaimed show, Billions. Flopped, Tommy Flanagan, Philip Chibbs Telford. Before climbing onto Chibbs' Harley Davidson, Flanagan had consistently appeared in various TV shows and movies throughout his career. While SOA wasn't his path to the leading man status, it did provide Flanagan a long-term gig. After SOA, Flanagan has continued as a supporting actor in various movies, including Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. A-lister, Ron Perlman, Clarence Clay Morrow. Ron Perlman was already an established actor in the industry before he appeared in SOA as Sam Crow's president, Clarence Morrow. The role took his fame to a new height. The fans very much loved his character. After Morrow was taken out by Jax, Perlman has starred in various other roles, notably in the hit series, Hand of God. Flopped, Theo Rossi, Juan Carlos Juice Ortiz. Sporting tribal tattoos on his head and spouting some of the show's sassier lines, Juice was a fan-favorite character in SOA. Though Juice didn't make it out of prison alive in the show, Juan has played in various TV shows, but hasn't been able to crack the A-list. And lastly, A-lister Charlie Hunnam, Jackson Jax Teller. The role of Jackson Jax Teller propelled Hunnam firmly onto the A-list thanks to his impeccable portrayal of the character. Before Jax, Hunnam had been an upcoming actor, known for menacing supporting parts in Children of Men and Cold Mountain. Since SOA ended, Hunnam has taken lead roles in makeup budget summer movies, including King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and Pacific Rim. Which of these surprised you the most? 